Hey everybody, we're podcasting. We're podcasting in the closet. <laughs> As per usual. As per usual. As per usual. That's a that weird fancy? way to say something. Well, I mean, what... <laughs> Okay, as, as per usual. <laughs> as usual. Why is the per in there? I don't know. As usual. As usual. I didn't know if I'm missing something. No, like, I mean that's not, some I, like language I might not even thing be, that I didn't know about. I might not or if you're be making it right. making stuff up. I could be making stuff up. I don't know. It's been throwing a long day. extra words around. It's been a long day. Give me a freaking break. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. Um so Tell me if this is weird. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Tell me if this is weird. I'm walking out of the gym today to come home for my afternoon break. So far, no. <laughs> well, I you know you can feel somebody looking your way. Not really. I'm I, not hot like oh you. Oh my gosh. I don't, get, I don't I don't I don't know what that feels like. Just yes, you do. You People can have feel... to come up to me and tap me on the shoulder and be like, Hey, I'm looking at you. And I'm like, why? And they're like, Because you're like your pants are on inside out. No, Jeff, stop. Anyway, I felt like some <laughs> some I felt presence, somebody looking at me. And I look up and as I'm looking up, this guy's walking towards me. And he doesn't and I don't want to stereotype. I don't like stereotypes, but stereotypes are stereotypes, stereotypes for a reason. Stereotypes, stereotypes, <laughs> stereotypes, stereotypes. <laughs> They're stereotypes for a reason. Right? But he didn't look safe, okay? He just didn't look safe. That's We're given instincts. That's where I'll break in. And he goes... And I want to tell my daughters that, and I want to tell you that, and I want to tell even me that, who isn't scared of anything. Oh, you are so brave. Just kidding. Seriously, you have instincts, and you should you should always rely on those instincts. Right. They could be wrong, I but it's be. better... I could be. ...to be here right now. Than to be in a truck with Than four to have been okay. abducted. Understand. So he approaches me, and I do have my guard up because immediately I was like, this guy is not safe or he's not sober. I don't know, one of the two. And he was like, hey, sweetie. And no. I've already talked about that before, but no, I'm not your sweetie. And, I was, and he goes, do you think you can give us a jump? Our car won't start. And I look over, look, listen, I look over, and there was, it'd be four like total. Family? No, it was men. It was grown men. Grown ass men. And I look over and there's three other men standing at the car and they in fact did have their car hood popped and they did have jumper cables attached. It's a good but move. there were so many I looked I immediately because I've just started watching Criminal Minds with Maddie, so I immediately started looking at my surroundings. There are two other dudes in the parking lot walking like towards their cars. Why didn't they approach him? That's what my question was. Like, why don't you go ask that man over there? Not that a woman can't jump a car. I could jump a car after a few sparks probably would it's, fly. It's the but, hottie in the yoga pants. But listen, so here's the weird part. I was like, I got to go. And this was true. I wouldn't have jumped him anyway. Right. I said, I've, I've, I I got to go my son to get my son from school. I'm going to be late. I'm so sorry. I hope you find someone. And he looked at me. Creepily, creepily. And then he looked towards the gym. Then he looked at me and looked towards the gym again. And he was like, okay, thanks, sweetie, and walked away. So I was driving down the road thinking about this. And I'm like, that was weird. Why did he do that? Maybe he was going to go into the gym and ask somebody there. So I text Chaz and I'm like, did some guy come in the uh, gym and ask you to come out and jump his car? He was like, uh, no. Why? Did he ask you? And I said, yeah, he said, no, nobody came in here. He goes, I guess I'm going to have to start walking you to your car in the afternoons. It's just not safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was so dumb that he couldn't, put, he, couldn't, he couldn't put two and two together, so he had to look again. And it was probably him looking back and forth was his brain working. He's probably so warped or so drunk or just been hit in the head too many times. So you got to keep your head I, on a swivel. You got to really be looking out for your surroundings when you come out of there. Cause you it, can't have these guys try to snag you. It kind of creeped me out that he kept looking at the gym and looking at me and looking at the gym and looking at me. Like, well, I don't understand that. I'm gonna get like, you a taser. Clearly, I'm coming out of the gym because I have yoga pants on and it's flipping freezing outside. Because if I weren't coming out of the gym, I probably would have something a little bit warmer on. So I don't understand that. And I was hoping that Chaz would have said, yeah, a guy came in here and asked me to go And then I would have felt a lot better. But now I feel a little bit uneasy. Yeah. I feel a little bit uneasy. They sound like guys that don't really have much to do either. It's not like they have jobs and they would just happen to be getting some stuff at 
TJ Maxx. Right. Right? They're probably in there picking up some slack. I don't know what Maybe they were doing. Belt. Four what? guys together. In, I don't even know. But I don't. I should have had Chaz go immediately out and see if there were four guys out in the parking lot with their hood up still. Or if it was just a scam and they were already moved on. Because they couldn't what? have been jumped by the time I thought of it. To, you know what I mean? There wouldn't have been enough time. They would have still been trying to get jumped, I think. Because I thought of it pretty quick to text him. You know what? If you see him out there again. Oh, don't you worry. You text me. But in the text, add Butch. In the text. Oh, And yes. then I'll be like. I will. Yo, Butch, let's go take some, some homies down. Yes, I will for sure. That's, and I will that totally will be, be the like, first Bro. time that you beat somebody up in a parking lot. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm now that's not my thing, but I could totally help Butch if he had any trouble with the four of those guys. Like I would just hang at first because one of us needs to be fresh if he doesn't get through the four guys. But oh I'm almost one hundred percent sure. And you know what? He has a lot of friends that like to, to like to hurt people and yeah. roll and roll. And, and do kicking and fighting. If it makes you feel any better, the you guy, the guy that along a, like Benji. The guy that approached me, I probably could have taken. Could you have taken him? Probably. That's one thing I liked about when I did take uh, jujitsu and Krav Maga is I always, I was always aware of my surroundings. Yeah. Because I was always training physical combat, and it's like you everywhere you go, you have it's like. You always keep your mind mm-hmm. going because you're you're being taught these self defense techniques every week. So you're yeah. like, it's not like you're looking for a fight or looking to use them, but it's like now you know. It's like they almost teach you to always be looking around, like always make sure your 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 surroundings are secure for your family or for yourself, so that nobody can actually sneak up on you or. If something goes down, you'll be ready. You'll yeah, be, you'll be prepared. Well, that's why. I- it is so ironic because Maddie's been trying to get me to watch Criminal Minds for years now, and I don't like shows like that. But I, fe- but you know, she's fixing to leave to go to college and stuff. And if it's our bonding time for an hour in the afternoon when we have our hour break together and we're at home at the same time, fine, I'll watch Criminal Minds. And I watched the first episode yesterday, and it was actually about because it was the very first episode, the very first season, and it was about a lady who wanted to buy a used car, and he said, do you want to come take it for a test drive? Mm-hmm. And the stupid lady got out of the car with a stranger, God. taking a car she was going to buy for a test drive, and he abducted her. So, if I, any other time, I literally would not have looked at my surroundings. I would have just said, no, I'm going to my son, and that would be an it, and I would have been a little weirded out, and I probably still would have texted Chaz to see if he went in there. But I immediately, when he approached me, I did. I checked, like, what was going on. Not that I could do anything about it. But, like, I saw the guys over there. And then I was like, is anybody else in the parking lot? Are any of those other guys going to approach people? Like, hey, you go that way. I'll go that way. We'll find somebody to jump us. No. They were standing at the car, staring my way. Where was, I'm, I'm, I I'm know that area because I work out every once in a while. Where were they? The, it was the aisle. So, you know, the aisle where the trees, where you like to park in the shade? Oh, yeah. It was on the other side of that. So, close enough to go into the gym, but also, like... So they were the like they trip. were like a little standoffish, like they were they were back towards Kroger. Like, no, no, back towards the Dollar Tree. Okay, that area. Like yeah. they were right there in front of the gym. They were in front of the gym and that woman's and they were watching, clothing store. They were watching so, for ladies. Here, They've been drinking all morning, I, watching Sanford and Son. And I, they just, <laughs> I watched the surroundings, and they were all three of those guys were staring my way, were staring at that guy approaching me. That's instead not abnormal, of, though. Instead of, but no, but listen, if you really do need a jump, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be like, there's, like I said, I saw other men walking to the car. I saw two men walking from TJ Maxx to the car. Not together. They were separate. It was a man and a woman and then another man by himself. Why were, why weren't the other guys approaching them for help, too? Why were they just focused on getting help from me. Well, that's because, because they, I'm thinking they, they're, would... it's a, they're probably, and I hate to be, I hate to be not judgmental, but the, it, it had to be something where they're looking out for, maybe, maybe it's not as, maybe it's not going to be an abduction or a physical thing. Well, no, I don't think that. But they're looking for money. Something. And did that's they look I, run down? That's what I thought. The, the guy that approached me did, but the other guys, from what I could see it, because it was just a quick glance, didn't look as much. And that's what I thought he was coming for, was money. Yeah, because, I mean, people do the drug problems. Right. People are looking for drugs. They're looking for money. They're, they're going to do whatever they can do. He didn't and ask And if they can money. ask for a jump, 
you know, now they got your attention, they're your car, they can get to your purse maybe, they can, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Or they're just trying to, I don't know, but good, good job getting out of there. Well, yeah. Without incident. But I mean, I don't know. I'm glad you didn't hurt anybody. I was just thinking that if I'm a dude, you know, dudes are going to look for other dudes to jump on because, do you... You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's just awkward. You don't approach a lady if you don't have to. And there were other options. That's awkward. no, no. If anyway. I if I need jumped, I'm not going to approach a lady. Yeah, I'm not. And You're it's nothing not. not a sexist thing. It's just like you don't want to make. Her I don't want to creep her out. Right. Like I don't want to be like, hey, can you give me a jump? I would be more like, okay, there's going to, I'm in a busy place. Exactly. There's going to be dudes around here. You're at a. You're by a gym. I gave a guy a jump right outside the gym once, one morning. Like yeah. I came out and he was he was sitting out there. And I was, I could tell he was struggling. He had his hood up and he was just kind of messed around. And he's like, I said, need some help, man? He's like, I think I just need to jump. I don't have cables. So I jumped him. But, right. you know, there, I, you're not generally going to look for a girl, especially when no. you're in a, like a public you're, area. And you're, you're in gonna front be of like, a gym, more than likely a dude. Yeah, come yeah. Out and there's, there's constant traffic with the, with the shops right there. So it's not like, yeah, it's right. crazy. Yeah, so I don't know. I just would think he wouldn't approach a woman to creep her out unless the woman walks by and be like, "Hey, do you need help?" You know what I mean? Then you're then that might be a little different. But anyway, that reminds me of a scam that I saw the other day, the hundred dollar bill scam, where they take a hundred dollar bill and they put it on your windshield and they don't want you to see it until you're driving. So you get in. You got two guys, two ladies. I'm an equal opportunist when it comes to carjackings. So it could be a lady and a dude. It could be a, it could be a dude and a dude. It could be like a dude that that identifies as a chick and, oh a, and a chick that identifies as a dude. Wh- however you want to do this, but basically they put a hundred dollar bill on your windshield wiper, and then you pull off and you go, "Oh my gosh, somebody put a hundred dollars on my car." But, so you stop. Yeah. You jump out without thinking. Your door's open. It kind of blocks you. While you jump around, because they make sure it's out of reach, you can't just reach over and grab it. And so while you're out, they know they're following, they're right there with you. The guy jumps out the passenger side, girl jumps out the passenger side, the guy that identifies as a girl jumps oh out of the passenger God. side, or the girl that identifies as a guy jumps out of the passenger side, and they jump in your car and they jack your car. But I don't know. Maybe I'm not as gullible as you think I am. If I see a hundred dollar bill on my windshield, I'm probably not gonna. That doesn't just happen. You, dude, so, with me right now, if I see a hundred dollar, no. I'm the dumb guy that would probably run my head into the windshield. Look, you look, just well, jump somebody, forward. So you really think somebody's gonna on purpose, just out of the kindness of their own gentle heart, put a hundred dollar bill under your windshield wiper? No. Maybe you're maybe you're the gullible one and not me. You always say I'm so naive, and you you're are. so naive. Which of is a course, stupid I word. wouldn't think. I would. I would be suspicious. You yes. wouldn't. You surely wouldn't pull over and somewhere where you could get carjacked. I would. If you if you really are that tempted to see if it's real, pull over in like a Seven Eleven parking lot where there's people around, or like a gas station. Dude, don't even have to spend a hundred bucks. Just yell at me when you're coming out. Be like, bro, I'm gonna carjack your car, and I'll be like, <laughs> take it. Give me a second to get my stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many scams out there, I'm sure. And I, I, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't follow for them, because I guess I am a little bit gullible and naive, but... There's all kinds of scams, man. There's there, all kinds of scams on the internet. They, I keep getting these weird phone calls from, like, weird places in West Virginia that I've never even heard of, like Sisterville. Now tell me, where is that? Sisterville, West Virginia, every single day. Every single day. They don't leave a message? No. No. It's weird. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, so I did not... Somebody will know. Somebody will know. So I did not provide a jump today for those guys, just so you know. That was was a good move. I I have a feeling that that was a smart thing to do. So if you live in West Virginia and you are in the Riverwalk Plaza area ever, like where TJ Maxx in the gym I work at, um, then just beware if some guys ask you for a jump, they probably don't need a jump. Yeah, watch out for shady cats. Shady cats. Speaking of cats, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So today I freaked myself out again. I'm so weird. So um, 
I got in the car this morning. We have three cats. They're outside cats, okay? Yeah, unfortunately. They're outside cats, and I was loading up my car. And, and sometimes they, they mosey in the garage because we let them in the garage, like, when it's cold. And it's freaking freezing right now, as we all know. And um, I'm loading my gym bag in the car, and then I forgot my purse inside. So I went back in and got my purse, put it in the car. Then I forgot my water jug, so I had to go back inside, put my water jug inside. So I'm driving down our neighborhood, and you know it's really kind of bumpy and curvy and stuff. Yeah, I spilled and coffee all over myself I this morning. I spilled coffee this morning, too. I set it in the stupid holder. You can't do it. it. it sh- I it, I didn't think about it. We need travel mugs. God, we need freaking... Uh, my birthday month is now. And if you want to buy me something for my birthday, you've got approximately 13 days. I would like a travel mug. You just got stressed because my birthday's in 13 days. Anyway, I spilled coffee too. But what I was saying is every time I would go around a curve... I, I would hear like a scratching in the back. <laughs> Almost like to me in my head, Easy. I was like, I was like, mother effer. One of these cats got in the back of Easy the car. Will jump in there so fast. And, and because it was almost like um, claws scratching to like hold on because I was going around curves. Right. The whole entire time I thought there was a cat in the back. I thought one of the cats got back there. And there wasn't? No, there wasn't. I don't know what it was. Because when I got to the gym, I, I looked in the back and I was like, I'm going to see one of these cats and I'm just going to let it go right here. It can play until oh, it's time to go home. that would have been a great move. It's, <laughs> and, but it wasn't. I still think it's not far enough. They still would have probably. Well, maybe. You know what I saw? What? On the Twitter. On the Twitter? The Twitter. Tell me. The future is going to be pretty cool. They have a new... Well, it's called the Smart Grocery Shop. Oh, my gosh. And it's a shopping cart of the future. Ooh. Like, it how liter- far in the future are we talking? I don't know. I'm not, good with, I'm not good with estimating things. All I know right now is the future's coming fast. You tell me in 2000, when I had my Palm Pilot and I thought I was balling. Your Palm <laughs> Back in, like, 04, 05, I thought, like, I got top of the line Palm Pilot. I am rolling. <laughs> iPhone comes out in 2008, I think, 2007, 2008, somewhere in there. I mean, can you believe how rapidly technology has advanced to now? So rapidly. Yeah, crazy. And now we got this grocery cart that's got sensors on it. And at the front, where you put your baby, no more babies. Babies can't go shopping anymore in the future? Yeah, they'll come up with something else for the babies, but we're, let's get to this important okay, stuff. Sorry. We got we got a like a little a little a little screen, okay? Okay. A little screen and a scanner. Yeah. So you can scan your stuff. Yeah. But it has like surround scan. That's what I'm calling it. That's not what the article called surround it. So I need to scan. patent that. We got the surround scan. So it's basically you pick up spaghetti box and you hold it there. It can scan not only the the barcode but it's going to scan the size and, and it does it when you put it in like it's got scanners on the sides of the, the so no matter where you put it in you it's put it in and it tallies okay your order as you're pushing it through kroger Gosh, or what wherever a time saver go ahead and so you're going through and you're in you're just loading it up and it's just scanning it and it's and, and you check out and you leave i mean they're saying there's there's already places in in more progressive areas right. where there's nobody working wow. grocery stores where you literally go in you get your stuff and they're like hey yeah some pe- there's going to be some things stolen we got cameras everywhere but things are stolen now and we have to pay all these people right, right? so that the, the profits much more even with them having items stolen uh, good point because what? they don't have to deal with employees they don't have to deal with the insurance, they don't have to deal with any of that stuff when it comes to health insurance, benefits, yep. human resources, management. I mean, we're, we're looking at losing lots of jobs in the future. Yeah, that sucks. Where, where do the bags come from, though? Do you, how do you bag your groceries? The, Is there a bagging look, station? I don't know. Like I, I didn't research it. I, I, Here we go. I was you're gonna listening. Throw out a t- you're going to throw out a headline. And you don't read the whole article. So, therefore, we don't know what really is happening. I did with the cart. But but well, I so but I was I listening. Know. I, I well, well know what... that's not part of. They're two separate stories. See, the cart's the one thing I that's saw on what, Twitter. I know that's what I want to know more about. If you have this cart where you 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 scan and then you, you pay go up at front, the end, and there's a bagging station like at all. Yeah, 
And then you just bag your stuff. You pay. You settle up. You get out of there. I feel like there will be a lot of things stolen that way. Maybe. If there's no... I mean, they have to have... I mean, I don't know. I like the idea. I'm sure they'll have... They'll have at saver. least security. But right. they won't have a bunch of cashiers. It's a time saver. But it's not as much of a time saver as how I grocery shop. Now, that's a time saver. Right. But isn't it funny how things turn? How, how like... We get, like, we get technology, and it changes the way we do things, but then we go back. But then we go back. Like, there's technology. It's weird that there's technology now that has got us to the point where we're just pulling up and they're bringing our stuff out. I love it. And then somehow we're going to create a technology that gets us back inside the store. Oh, conspiracy. Isn't that weird? It's but crazy. that's not going to get me in the store. That doesn't excite me enough to give up my click it list. Yeah, but there's a lot of control freaks that like to get their own stuff. Yeah, not as many as as, as people who want to just pull up and have. There's still people that don't do click a list. Well, if you don't do it and you haven't tried it, you're missing out, because I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever, the best thing ever. I have only had, out of I use it every week, and I've only had one time where where my avocados were weren't right. I let them pick out produce. Yeah, you don't let them do produce. Me. Yeah, I do. Nah, you can't do what, that. What are you talking about? You don't even Dude, know. the whole no, thing. No, you of... don't know. I, I've been doing it for months. When have you had a problem with our produce? Tell me. Tell me, JMR. When have you had a problem with our produce? Because I've been doing it for months. I don't think I've really been having any produce lately. Okay. My point is, is the whole experience of purchasing produce is 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 fondling. No, you just want to go to the produce section so you can run into to Miss Hotty Toddy because that's where everybody meets. Is the produce Who's section. Hotty Toddy? Well, I don't know, but I always see that people meet in the produce section. I'm telling you, man. I told you that before. That's where you go to meet people. Is exactly, the grocery store. and that's where you like to go. No, you like the cheese section. Don't get me wrong. You like the cheese section better than the produce section. I like the grocery store, period. You are weird. You're a weirdo, and you need help. I don't want to go to Walmart, but that's not a grocery store. I want to go into, like, a nice grocery grocery store. store. No, it's not. It's a box store. Does it have groceries? Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking okay, about. It has it has just as many groceries as Kroger. It does, but it's not it's not the same. But it still is a grocery store. Kroger feels better. Uh, that may be. But Walmart and, and is 100% a grocery store. There's even better grocery stores than Kroger. Where? I don't see them here. They're not here. Okay. And they're like Harris Teeter that's like pimped out like that oh, one we went to in Carolina. I don't like know. a bar when we walked Dude, in. Some Kroger's are pimped out like that one we had wine tasting in. Oh, that Kroger and uh, right where in, were we? We were over in Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, but what's that area hmm. called? Mason. Mason. Where Kings Island is. Yeah. They man, have that like was wine freaking and beer awesome. in there. There's now, like all these people sitting there drinking. You want to get me back in the grocery store? Kroger of Ashen Place? Throw a bar up in there. I'll go in. Shoot. I'm all about it. Do some wine. I'm all about it. She'd be, she be taking a so pit stop. She's like, I'm getting all my frozen stuff at the end. I'm going to get all it, this it, stuff. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to have a bottle of wine. It, and then I'm going to get the frozen and stuff. And then I'm going to buy a bunch of shit I don't need. Because I'm a little tipsy. It's a genius. It's a genius. It is a genius move. Plus, it was like a gathering spot for seniors is what I was it, noticing. It did look like that. We will They're all like, these. hey, let's go down to Kroger. Yeah. That way, if we drink too much, we can just get the pins. We can just slide on over yeah, to aisle you, 72. Do you, do you pee yourself when the you drink older, too much? I said for seniors. Oh. It was a gathering spot for seniors. Okay. And, I don't, and, and that's not a slam on seniors because I have trouble I, with my, my... Let me talk about that for a second. Oh, boy. I have, I've been having major issues with my bladder. Women, you know what I'm talking about. You pop out a few babies and all of a sudden your bladder goes to, goes to crap. I can't, I can't even turn suddenly without the leaky leak. So don't be knocking on seniors because there can be 42, 43 year old women out there that need, that need some assistance in that area. And when we went to Sky Zone and we jumped, Oh, <laughs> I was telling somebody about that, that you jumped with oh, your legs closed the whole time. Great. Well, I'll put it out there. Yeah, it's not I like mean, you're keeping it a secret. It's not a secret. If you've had kids and you're over 40 and you've had multiple kids, your bladder does not work in the way that most people do. You can't jump rope the same ever again. You can't squat the same ever again. You can't sneeze. You can't laugh. The same I hate to do this, but it feels like you're thing. using it as an excuse. It's not an excuse. That it might not even be a real thing. You know what? You but pop you don't out three jump no. on a box you, and you don't want to jump on a no. rope. You pop out three babies out of your woohoo and listen, see what happens got, to your bladder. Listen, 
because there's they talk about white privilege drip. i've got male privilege i don't have to have a baby I get okay. to make. There is going to be a time when you start drippy dripping, and I'm going to laugh at you. I bet that's what hell's like. I bet you're just having men are just like men that go to hell are like having babies constantly, just like, and they're not even babies. They're like, I don't know, like half bats, half boars, with with like what? with like big teeth and big horns coming out, like, wow, and they got wings. To the little and, baby and it's like the doctors, like, I don't know, like Frankenstein. Wow. That's out there, Jeff. That's I know. Well, we got into talking about hell, and no, that sounds pretty creepy. There. You took it's us there. It's a little there. scary. It, but anyway, it does suck to be a woman and your bladder not work right. That's all I'm saying. That does. It does, because you can't ever walk around in confidence. When I wear my yoga pants that aren't of a darker shade, I walk around nervous as crap all day long. Because I'm like, well, shoot. Especially, like, the gray ones and stuff. Like, the light gray ones. Because if your girl Can't sneezes, they go in and just tack that thing up? Yes. But if you do that, then you have to repeat this every five years. Five years? Every five years. So, the earlier you start, the more often you're going to have to do it. That's well, why they tell they, you like, to hold off. Well, can they, like, sew it to your inside do, so it doesn't do fall? Mesh, you're weird. They can do this mesh stuff, but it's all debatable. Like, is it good? Does it mess up? And plus, you don't want to be put under and have any type of procedure that you don't medically need. Like, it, it is sounds okay. like you medically need it. No, because I'm not like in pain. I'm not in pain. I'm not suffering, and it's not dangerous, right? It's just a nuisance. Yeah. So, that's why I'm holding off till as long as I can. But I mean, when I go to the doctor, I am going to talk to him about it again. But he told me after I had Brooke, if you have another baby, we're going to have to tack it up. We're going to have to pin it up. It's going to, have to be pinned because. You know what I mean? Why didn't you do that while he was down there? Come on, bro. I just answered that question. Do you not listen? Yeah, but he... Yeah, I did I Because every five years. you Do you really want me to be 30-something years old and every five years going in for this procedure? That more than likely, the way stupid insurance is, it's probably not even covered by insurance because it's not medically necessary. Insurance companies suck. Sorry. They, they, they make it impossible to do anything. They make it too expensive to even go to the doctor. That's true. The health care the healthcare situation is terrible. You got me so fired up I had to turn my heater off. Last time you got you got all hot and bothered over the mimosa guy or Momoa. Oh, Aquaman. Aquaman. He can breathe <gasps> underwater. I bet he can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A jacuzzi invitation. I suddenly it. forgot what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> So Don't make me do. laugh. I might pee so myself. I have to do to distract you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, yeah. that that escalated quickly. <laughs> yes, it did. Very, very quickly. Oh, I'm so sorry. You just tried to steer me away from bashing on insurance companies. No, I didn't. I'm bashing on the healthcare crisis, the healthcare situation. It's crap, man. It's crap. It is. It's crap. People can't. People can't live. They can't afford anything. It's crazy. It is. I it's can't insanity. even take my kid to the doctor unless they're like, I feel like they're really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of, did you call the doctor today and for Brooke? It's it's a doctor problem, too. Did you call the doctor? Because she's going to ask in a minute. Why did she ask you? No, she asked you. She asked me just now? Mm-mm. She asked you to call the doctor for her. Yeah, I'll call him tomorrow. Oh, that's what you always say. Anyway. And... So that's another thing. You get mad. I like how you get mad at the insurance carrier, which I'm mad at the insurance carrier too, but just think of it where you, you be the insurance carrier. Oh, please no. Be the insurance carrier and you're the one paying out. And here's what happens. Here's what happens when I take my daughter and I have insurance. It's $120 for a visit with my copay of $25, $30. Guess what? When my daughter doesn't have insurance, they, they get to pay 55, 60 bucks. Because you're a cash payer. Because they rape the insurance companies. They drive the cost up because they charge more for an MRA. They charge more MRA, for an, an MRI. MRI. Uh. They charge more for all the procedures. They send you for blood work you may not even need. You, it's not necessary. True, true, they re- true, they true. And guess who pays for it? I get that part. And then okay. it drives the all cost right. up. Okay, It's a flawed still, system all the way around. It is a flawed around. system. It is a all the way around. System. And I'm not an expert. I'm just doing the math. And it's insanity. And not the workout. <laughs> and I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Woo! Okay. Done, son. 
Done, son. You know what? I'm done for tonight. Okay. We've had a great podcast. It was nice to talk to you. I will continue to talk to you tonight as we do whatever. Chill out. Well, I should have said we. I got to go watch Game of Thrones. I'm, I'm addicted. Yes, I'm you're hooked. addicted. Never I seriously thought you am. would be. I never thought I would be, y'all. I never thought There's I would be. so many storylines and characters. I didn't think I would like medieval times type of crap. Back, is it medieval? Like You know what I mean? That's nah, fantasy. But yeah, I like it's fantasy stuff. That. I'm not, yeah. but it's like I never thought I would like it. I never gave it a chance, and then I got challenged, and I got I, I got a challenge going. So uh, I started watching it, and now I'm seriously addicted. I know, man. It's hard because I have hard an addictive not to just jump to the next one. Yes, you do. I know. So we're about to watch. I don't know season one, episode like eight. I hear. It. I think we're episode hear, eight. Yeah, it's I getting hear, real. I hear. I, that's what I hear. Chess says I'm going to hate the ending. And uh, I get really emotionally attached to these characters. We'll get ready for a wild ride. It's going to be fun at eight seasons. I don't like the people who are dying. I don't. I don't like that they're dying. Well, let's just go watch. <sighs> fun. <laughs> <laughs>